Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all givers out there. Today we are going to discuss yeah, question uh, final exam, question 4 December 2019, uh, which is question on MFRS 102 inventories. So there are videos that I have published as well for discussion. Go and check that. Now that one will help you better in understanding the topic uh, MFRS 102 inventories. So let's start. Okay. This is the question. Use and Gamberhart is a company that specializes in making, selling, of pinewood cabinet so uh, the company involved in selling and um, also they make the cabinet themselves right okay and then the company uses unfinished pine planks or so unfinished pine planks are the raw materials that is uh, known as pine ap pine ap right and that will be used to produce will be used to produce the wood cabinet so the wood cabinet is the the uh, so-called finished product that is the wood cabinet right and um, so the pine planks the unfinished pine planks will be converted into finished product the wood cabinet so the raw material and other supplies in this question is unfinished pine plants known as pine ap and the finished product is the pine wood cabinet itself okay these are the historical costs of pine ap which is the uh, unfinished pine plant and it is six thousand you have the replacement cost of pine ap five thousand five hundred and these are the conversion costs to produce the finished product pine wood cabinet. Right. These uh, conversion costs consist of direct labor costs 3,200, indirect labor costs 1,850, and other production overhead 3,750. And this is about a cabinet. We are talking, we're not talking about total, but each cabinet each so the finished product pine wood cabinet is expected to fetch at fifteen thousand each so if the pine wood cabinet is manufactured it will be able to be sold at uh five fifteen thousand or that is the expected selling price okay we have question for a question for a is about asking you to define the term inventory so it's just a general question so if you can still recall inventories from your lecture or from the knowledge of mfrs 102 inventories inventories are assets that are held for sale in our course of business in our case or in course of business here is the uh, business of making and selling pine wood and also in the process of production right so it was used in the process of production they are in the process of production or in the form of material or supplies to be consumed in the production process so in our case the pine plank or the uh, unfinished pine plank pine that one is to be consumed in the production process of uh, manufacturing that into a finished product a cabinet right. the net realizable value now is on the question on nrv you are informed that net realizable value test applies to both uh, finished product and raw material. However, the basis for the NRE test of raw material and supplies is somehow different from the finished product. So the way you calculate NRE for the finished product, right, is different from the way you calculate NRV for the uh, raw material and supplies. So the question asks you to 
outline the basis of an RE test, basis of the test, right? The basis of the test, basis of the test, or the basis value, okay? For the NRE test for raw material and supplies. If you can still recall from the lecture or from MFRS 102 guideline, the net realizable value of for raw material and other supplies shall not shall not be based on its resale value. It shouldn't be uh, calculated or based on its uh, resale value or the selling price because these items are not for resale remember for example the unfinished plank that was not for resale but it was used in the manufacturing process of uh, our case just now uh, into a finished product the cabinet so that was not for resale so it shall not be based on the resale value it shall be based on to be assessed on historical cost. So it shall be based on the historical cost of the finished goods first, in which the raw material and other supplies will be incorporated. For example, in our case of the raw material unfinished planks just now, the uh, net realizable value has to be assessed by first calculating the historical cost of the finished goods, which is the cabinet itself, before we can actually decide uh, what are the NRV. So here you are asked to determine the value of the closing inventory pine AP. Okay, closing inventory pine AP refers to the unfinished product. Yeah, so unfinished uh, uh, pine wood uh, that uh, will be later converted into finished product pine wood cabinet. So the issue here is, as the guidance just now we have already discussed, could the finished product, which is the cabinet, be sold at or above historical cost. So first thing first is that you need to go and calculate what are the production costs or the so-called cost of producing the finished goods, pine wood cabinet. Yeah. So to do that, we have to go and extract the table that we have been given or the information that has been given. And then we need to go and calculate the historical cost of the finished product, the pine wood cabinet. So after you have calculated that, then we will have to make a decision. What is the uh, value of the closing inventory for the unfinished uh, pro, uh, inventory or the unfinished inventory here is the pine AP. Yeah, meaning that the one that were not yet converted, it was the one that is still in the making of uh, to manufacture into pine wood cabinet. So historical cost of finished product, pine wood cabinet. First, you should know what are the material being used. So the material being used here is the one given here. Given here, 6,000, right? So you take the raw material here, historical cost of pine AP referring to the pine wood uh, plank, right? And then direct labor referring to this. Uh, indirect labor, so we take the 1850 other production overhead 3750. So replacement cost is not relevant to be calculated in terms of calculation for your historical cost of finished product. So if you total up, that will give you 14,800. So if you, now you have 14,800 and you know that the uh, expected selling price for the pine wood cabinet or the finished product, if you were to manufacture the expected selling price or that is expected to flash at 15,000 each. So you now what you're going to do is you're going to compare the expected selling price with the historical cost of the finished product, 14,800. So the finished product of Pinewood Cabinet, in our case here, is ex expected to be sold at 15,000. Okay, that 15,000 here. Above the historical cost of production of 14,800. 14,800 is from the calculation here that you get. So I put the figure here. But you need to make a, go and work out the calculation. And therefore, the conclusion that you will make, you will compare which one is higher. 
yeah so if you can see here selling price is higher than the cost of the finished product itself so if that is the case, we are not trying to look at what are the NRV of the finished product. We are trying to find what are the closing inventory of the unfinished uh, pine wood AP. So therefore, the value of the so-called closing raw material, that is the unfinished pine planks, pine AP, is going to be fixed at its historical cost, which is the 6000 This 14800 is the total if it's... A finished product but those that are component of this is 6,000 that only relates to the unfinished pine plank so when you do this the value of closing raw material will now be at historical cost since the uh, expected selling price is higher than the historical cost of the finished product pine wood cabinet okay that's how you do it yeah and remember you need to first fin uh, calculate the finished product in terms of what are their costs historical costs right okay these are the figure that we get for the six thousand which is the historical cost from the table here and this one is from here here six thousand Okay, that's it. Remember, work hard in silence. Let your success make the noise with that. I thank you for watching and uh, get connected and always keep in touch with my next video. I'll see you when I will see you.